Welcome back into Tennessee Titans today for the second time. We broke down the roster moves, the claiming of Lonnie Johnson, but as promised, Tennessee wasn't done making moves. So we're going to break down the trade for Tyree. In the words of Mitchell Renz, Giuseppe. It's actually Tyree Gillespie, the former Missouri safety. The trade details in terms of the exact information isn't known at this point. It is a late round conditional pick, however, set to go to the Las Vegas Raiders for the 2021 fourth round pick. Tennessee adding some safeties, some defensive backs in recent days, which I find quite interesting from that perspective. A fourth round pick out of Missouri was Tyree Gillespie. He gave my boy Mitchell Renz quite a few tongue-twisting names there. He hasn't done much in his rather brief NFL career. Uh, eight tackles was all he had in 2021. But Tennessee getting him for, we mentioned the conditional late-round pick. You can pretty much assume that's going to be a sixth round pick a seventh round pick maybe even for 2023 less or even 2024 less so than this upcoming year just because of the conditional aspect of it at this point we don't know the full-fledged in and out details we just know late round draft pick for a former fourth rounder who didn't play much at all last year part of the not so good Mike Mayock, John Gruden, Gruden regime in terms of drafting, but I did think this was a draftable player. At the end of today's show, we'll break down where I thought he should go. I thought it was a fine pick by the Raiders. Clearly, Tyree Gillespie is not a great fit for this particular new Raiders defense. Tennessee swoops and grabs him for basically next to nothing, assuming it is a seventh or sixth round pick or somewhere in that area. Tennessee adding safety depth, which... Might be a concern for a Hooker, but we'll come back to that later on. In the meantime, the pinned question on today's show. One word reaction to this particular trade. Sound off for me in the comments section. If an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there. Give me one word only your reaction to this trade. I've got a couple one words. Um, I think smart is a fine one. You're adding a relatively highly drafted player for a lot less than what it costs to acquire him. Mean, it'll be super cheap on the contract. Depth is another one. The Tennessee Titans in recent days and weeks have really begun to overhaul this system. We'll throw Lonnie Johnson on here as a safety option. He can play corner as well, but I did want to include him since he was the latest waiver claim off of waivers from the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, you've got other guys. You added Adrian Colbert recently to help compete at the safety position. You know, I know that you've had some semblance of recent injuries, but not really that much on a Monty Hooker. You signed A.J. Moore this offseason. You draft Theo Jackson in the, sixth, in the sixth round. Those are six safeties if we count Lonnie Johnson. Seven if we count Adrian Colbert, who are either relatively highly drafted, drafted this year, or have played real meaningful NFL games. All these moves at safety... I worry a little bit more now about Amani Hooker's injury. Uh, he's been fairly healthy over his NFL career, but he's been missing time as of late in camp and in practice. And Tennessee is so tightly lipped when it comes to various injuries that I go, hmm, are things okay there? You know, Elijah Molden came back. Hooker's been out for a while, and that is a red flag for me. The fact that Amani Hooker has not been present, and given how unwilling to share information this Tennessee Titans organization is it does raise some red flags as far as I'm concerned that's like the back of my mind like mm, is that why you did it because you've got a lot of safeties right now and clearly Tyree Gillespie is going to make this team you don't trade for a player for a conditional draft pick in most cases unless that condition is not to make the team if you don't plan on him making your 53-man roster so now you've got Jackson Moore Byard Hooker could Amani Hooker start the year on maybe injured reserve, come back later on in the season? That's, that's a concern I have right now. Might be overreacting, overreacting, but you've added multiple defensive backs in the last four hours, three, two hours, whatever it is, in Lonnie Johnson and uh, Tyree Gillespie, and both those guys can at least play safety. That's a red flag for me. Now, this is exactly why you guys subscribe to Tennessee Titans today. When news happens... We break it down for you guys. If you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe. Links at the bottom of your screen if you're watching somewhere other than YouTube. But it's YouTube.com slash Titans today. 
Now, Gillespie only had a grand total of eight tackles this past year, but he is a very productive player dating back to his college days. There's a big reason why he got drafted in the fourth round out of Missouri. He was not really anything in terms of a of a playmaking free safety. Zero career interceptions, but the speed was absolutely there at Tennessee, uh, a four, or at Missouri, excuse me, now a member of Tennessee. 4.43 40-yard dash was quite impressive from that perspective. We'll spend some more time here on Gillespie and, and his college standpoint overall. I, I'll, I will look back at my 2021 NFL draft notes from uh, the Tyree Gillespie draft. Free safety at Missouri wasn't really in the box a ton. I liked him more as that split safety than a true single high guy because of the, the lack of playmaking. Um, I, I want to move him around a little bit more so than only lining him up at, as a true free safety. Above average testing, the 4.43 40-yard dash was fantastic. Very impressive from that standpoint. The negative side were some of the other stuff we'll get into in a little bit. Gunner and special teams value, that will help him, I think, make this Tennessee Titans roster. He was not afraid to hit, not afraid to fly around. He used that top end speed pretty well overall. Did not translate in year one with the Raiders. Maybe things can change now in Tennessee. So are you happy with this trade? Some negatives for Gillespie coming up here momentarily, but I want to hear from you guys in the comments section. Are you happy? Y for yes or N for no? I say yes, because you're getting a draftable player, a guy that I had a fourth-round grade on coming out of Missouri. It's where he went in the draft. The Raiders took him there, of course. And you got him for a sixth, seventh, some type of, some type of conditional late-round pick. I think that's pretty smart. I think that's what good organizations choose to do. Now, I don't think Lesby's going to suddenly be, ah, there's your one hooker replacement. No. But if he's safety four for you, or even safety three, I think I feel pretty good about that overall. Now, again, the trade details, late round pick in exchange for Tyree Gillespie. Reasons why the Raiders are moving on. Uh, they are overhauling. The I think that's a big factor in it. There were some negatives that came on, on his film at Missouri. I think also kind of translated to life in the NFL. Too many missed tackles, 15.4% missed rate at Missouri. He fl flies around too much sometimes, at least he did at Missouri, and that led to some missed tackles. The other agility testing beyond the 4.4340 was not very good. Uh, 7.063 cone, 9 flat broad is really bad, a 4.39 shuttle. Straight line athlete is what you've got here, which makes him valuable for a potential special teams gunner, but the lack of quicks and agility was pretty clear to me, and I don't think the top end you know, awareness intelligence quite made up for it. With that said, I like the move for Tennessee. You're adding a solid depth safety, and for a late day three pick, that's normally a pretty good investment as far as I'm concerned.